Good day, this is Sir Paya. Welcome back to my channel. Sa mga bago pa lang, do subscribe my channel and press the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga latest upload ko. So this time, gagawa tayo ng tutorial on how to create a login module um, using Java. Okay, so dito is, gawa muna tayo ng design. So, login natin. So, meron tayong panel dito. So, si panel, magamit natin siya for grouping uh, components or control or pwede rin natin siyang gawin pang design. So, like for example, gawin natin lang siya itong pang design. Ayan. Okay. And then, add tayo ng label. Ito yung label dito. Then, we have the username. Ayan. Then, add tayo ng text box or text field. Okay. Then, add din tayo ng label para sa password natin. So, the text, then we have the password. Then, add tayo ng password field natin. Ayan. Okay. Add tayo ng button. So, gawin natin siyang login. And then, add again another button. And then, this is exit. Or close. And then, ilagay natin ito sa taas dito. Okay, and then Hanap tayo ng icon na magamit natin Example, uh, yung icon na ito Click lang natin yung button Then go to icon, property Then browse lang natin Ayan, so yun lang icon Yung the icon ay Icon 8 16 bar 16 1 Ayan Okay, tapos sa close button Anap tayo ng close button dito Ito na lang, ay kami, you know, this is 24, hanggang tayo na 16. Okay, and then, go to icon. Okay. Ayan lang tayo ng level. Ayan natin dito. Then, change natin yung font niya. Tapos natin siyang tapos clicking so, foreground niya. Change natin to white. Saka yung text niya. Is, uh, Okay, so try mo natin iparan para makita natin yung design niya. Okay. And then sa login, right click lang natin and then go to event and then we have the um, action or action perform or just double click the button. Okay. Then, dito, dito natin siya ilagay yung event natin under sa button. 
So, wala na declare muna tayo ng dalawang variable. And string name of user. And then, kukunin natin yung data na galing dito. So, change muna natin yung name. So, gawin natin siyang txt user. Saka so, ito si txt pass. Okay. We have the txt user the uh, get text then we have the string password or pass and txt pass the uh, get text ayan then try so, tawagin natin yung connection get connection so si get connection is uh, good connection method so, makikita natin siya dun sa previous tutorial, uh, tutorial natin. Kung paano siya ginawa. Ayan. So, meron dito tayong gate connection method. And then, so, natin nating gagawin is declare tayo ng statement. Si statement is under print to sa SQL. Yung in-import natin na uh, java.sql.asterisk. We have this statement uh, is t and then we have the cn that yung cn yun yung connection string natin or yung connection na ginawa natin create statement and then we have the uh, result sheet so the so result sheet is under parento sa sql so dito natin ni assign ko yung data na retrieve niya na galing doon sa database then we have the um, restore this statement to execute query. Ayan. Then declare muna tayo dito ng string query. Yung query natin uh, select asterisk from so ito yung table na gamitin lang natin. Balik tayo, balik tayo dito sa db student. Under sa DB student, mayroon tayong dalawang um, table dito. We have the table security. So, ayan. Table security from TBL security. Okay. And then dito, dito natin ipasa yung variable or yung query natin. This is execute query. Okay. So, after RS, i-log po natin siya, yung record niya. Then, yung the RS that that we have the next. So, i-log niya. And then, condition tayo, if yung user natin that um, declare mo natin ng variable para pag uh, kunin yung laman ng uh, table natin we have the string username and then galing kay r is that uh, git string and then yung attributes ng table natin we have the username so, so yung lagay natin username and then we have the string password variable r is that git string and then so password and then we have the password then string name uh, git string then kunin natin yung value ng name we have the name ayan then condition tayo um, if user that equals, so pag equals siya dun sa username ayan and yung password natin that equals equals siya dun sa password natin ayan pag ang value ng user na galing sa text field natin or password na gika sa text field natin it's mag-equal dito sa variable na nag-hold ng data na galing sa, sa table natin. So, pag meron siya, 
Pag, pag equal siya, we have the Z option pen, then we have the shoe message dialog. Ayan yan, then we have the nan, we have the access granted. Ayan. And then we have the ipa-display po natin yung name welcome so welcome natin welcome name kung anong value ng name na dito uh, na meron dito sa ating table ayan okay and then pagkatapos is uh, i-close natin yung form o yung frame natin dito at dispose and then tawagan natin doon uh, yan so pwede yung ganun na lang so, welcome lang natin o kahit hindi natin i-dispose so, validate lang niya kung meron data or wala okay tapos else lang natin dito tapos uh, G option pain then we have uh, show me this dialog now and then access denied ok then the option pane that so message dialog and then with the x that get message even my my error x that get message ayan so, try po natin. So, dito is meron akong username na admin, password na 1, 2, 3, 4. Meron natin yung program. Okay, then we have the admin, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So, access granted, welcome, zoom in, retire. Pero pag mali, so access denied yung lalabas. Okay? So that's it. Thank you for listening. <coughs>